my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title, I filmed a full week of eating and not a full week, that was a lie. Basically what had happened was I planned to do a full week, but then I started filming a day late, so it turned to six days and then the water got shut off in my apartment. I was very stressed and it turned into five days. I'm sorry. So it's five days, a working week, some might say, where you guys decided what I would eat. And I've wanted to do this video for a while and I was so excited to finally do it. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up to let me know. Of course, if you absolutely hate it, which I would not blame you for, you can give a thumbs down. That's okay too. And of course, subscribe for more content while you're certified damsel in distress. I feel like this video is already too long, so I won't make this intro any longer than it needs to be. Let's just get on with the video. Good morning, my friends. It is day one of this challenge. Yeah, I'll call it a challenge. So I don't know if there's a right way to do this challenge, and I don't know if I'm going to be doing it the wrong way. I apologize if I am. But what I decided on doing is I would ask you guys on my Instagram stories, follow me on Instagram to help me get to 10,000 followers. I just want to be able... I just want to be able to do the swipe up feature on my stories, so please. But um, also follow me on Instagram if you want to, you know, partake in these kinds of videos. But I asked you guys on my Instagram story, so like what I figured I would do is I would post a question where I would say like, what should I have for breakfast, what should I have for lunch, for dinner, etc. And then you guys would just send in your answers and then I would blindly scroll through the answers and just pick one. I have all the responses here, so shout out to you if you sent something in because you are the ones that made this video possible. So I'm gonna look away, I'm gonna scroll, and then blindly pick. Stop. And we have pancakes, which is very typical breakfast for me. I'm not complaining. There's actually three people in this, what I can see right now, three people that requested pancakes. So I guess, I guess I gotta have pancakes. <laughs> so the type of pancakes I have to make was not specified. It just said pancakes. So I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I'm gonna decide on chocolate chip pancakes and I'm using this Birch Benders plant protein pancake mix. This is the pancake mix I always use. You know, I could be fancy and schmancy and make my own like homemade recipe, add some flour or oat flour if I wanna get real fancy. You know, mashed up banana, all that stuff. Um, but I'm not fancy, I'm lazy. What are measurements? We don't know her. Sometimes measurements are a good thing though because I added too much milk. <laughs> now we pan over to the pans. <laughs> Don't touch each other. Ah! Right when I said don't touch each other, what do you do? Tisk tisk. So we have our four chocolate chip pancakes here. I used to have a smaller bowl that was perfect for like syrup and ketchup and all that stuff, but I smashed it in my hands and I ended up getting cuts all over my hands and it was traumatic. And voila, when I was a kid, I used to just eat pancakes with my hands. Did you hear my jaw crack? <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Like I used to just eat pancakes like this. Mm. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of meals that I already eat pretty frequently because I feel like we have the same taste in foods, you and me. But I do kind of hope that I scroll onto one and it's a meal that I haven't shown or haven't tried or at least haven't had in a very long time. But I mean, also not complaining about pancakes at all. Hello my friends, I just finished streaming and it was super fun. Follow me on Twitch if you aren't following me on Twitch already. I stream almost every single day and it is like one of my favorite parts of the day. But I am getting very hungry, I'm getting very peckish, so that means it's for lunch and I asked you guys once again on my Instagram and I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm gonna blindly scroll through and we'll see where I land this one lasagna wait oh my god wait hello lighting I've been wanting to taste test this lasagna and like give you guys a review of it because I got it like a month ago and I haven't tried it yet it's this simply plant-powered vegan lasagna and I wanted to try it for a video and I just haven't gone around to it but this is the perfect opportunity so thank you to all the people that suggested lasagna now I have an excuse to try this on video doesn't look the best but it's a it's frozen lasagna so I should try to make my own lasagna someday but for today we're doing frozen lasagna. And how do I take this off? Do I peel it? Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Comes right off. Do I flip it out or do I just eat it like this? I'm not sure. That wasn't the best transfer, but it's okay. <laughs> that does not look appealing. That doesn't look appealing at all. Oh my goodness. But I guess what really matters is how it tastes. Mmm, that's so good. Oh my God. For like a frozen meal, I think this is really good. 
Mm. Okay. All right, it is time for dinner. So I'm back on my Instagram, and I think what I'm gonna do is, I made this highlight on my Instagram, but what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the ones that I posted right here. Like, I'm not gonna ask again. I'm just gonna use the ones you guys sent in and I'll just keep going through them. So that's gonna be the game plan for the rest of this week. But for the dinner poll, we have this very adorable picture of Todoroki to represent the dinner poll. Look away. Stop. Mac and cheese. We can do mac and cheese. I am pretty sure that my favorite vegan restaurant, it's Ground Foods Cafe. If you guys are ever in the area, give it a try. It's so good. It's mac and cheese and it's the last day I can get it. It's the last day I can get it. So, so shout out to the person that suggested mac and cheese because I really want to give this a try. Oh my God, okay, I'm back. It's a nightmare for some reason to get back in my building. It was so backed up. But I have gotten the pasta and this is, this place is so good with portions, like it's actually insane. This is a hefty, hefty portion. Look at that. Wow. Oh my God, wow. Holy cow. That is so decadent. It's almost overwhelming. So creamy. Mm. I'm sorry, the lighting is not the best. That mac and cheese did a number on me. Oh my. That was so heavy. I'm so full. However, it was so, so much like savory salt flavor. I need something sweet. And I was going in my freezer and I was thinking, I have the chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. And I was thinking to myself, damn, I really wish I got the oatmeal cookie ice cream. I opened it up. I, I did get it. I don't know. I don't remember when I got it, but I did get it at some point recently. And I said out loud, I was like, oh my God. I love myself. <laughs> I already know this is gonna hit the spot after that mac and cheese. Mm. It's so good. The oatmeal cookie chunks, immaculate. Instead of filming every single day, like me scrolling through all the options and saying like, oh, this is what I landed on, I felt like that might add too much unnecessary footage. So I'm just gonna do that before I start filming. And yeah, but anyway, for breakfast today, I landed on French toast, which I don't think I've ever made French toast, like vegan French toast. I don't even know if I've ever made non-vegan French toast on my channel. So a lot of the recipes I looked up used like a flax egg and things. I decided to go a different route and I'm gonna use some of this just egg Egg, as well as some cashew milk. Maybe I'll start off with that much and then I'll add more if I need it. And then cinnamon. Do that. I think this will be good. Later in the void. Oh my God, you guys, it smells so good. Ooh, yes. That is a nice plate of French toast. Look at that. I think that looks pretty good. I got my little bowl for my syrup. Mmm. Mmm. There is room for improvement, but for my first time, really good. For lunch, I actually, I have to admit it, I cheated a little bit because the thing that I landed on initially was this, um, and I cannot eat this. <laughs> so I actually just picked the one right above it, which is tteokbokki. I really wish I had some dumplings. That's my bad, that's on me. I don't have any dumplings to add to this. For lunch, I am making tteokbokki. So right here, I am boiling up some vegan chicken broth, and now I'm going to be adding some gochujang, which is hot pepper paste. I just had a very, very, very fun stream. If you are unaware, I stream on Twitch five to six times a week. So if you aren't following me on Twitch, make sure to follow me over there. We have a good time over there, so join in on the fun. I don't measure anything. We're just kind of eyeballing things. Also, over here, you guys can't see it. I am making a sausage to add as like a protein source for this. I usually would like to add tofu, but I don't have any tofu. I am slacking. And then I'm also gonna add some sesame oil. The sesame oil adds so much flavor. And then I'm also going to add some nuclear noodle sauce. I add this stuff to almost everything. I'm gonna add some soy sauce. I'm also going to add a little bit of sugar. I also just added some shiitake mushrooms because I love shiitake mushrooms. Oh my God, oh my God. I almost forgot. Gotta add a little bit of minced garlic. And basically you just keep cooking this. I don't really know how much time it takes to cook. I just wait till the broth and like the sauce, I guess, starts to thicken up a lot more. The meal after streaming is like the best tasting meal. I don't know what it is. Voila. I've never had tteokbokki with sausage. This is like the Italian sausage too. So I don't know how it's gonna taste with it. It's not bad. Mmm. I love rice cakes. Mmm. 
<laughs> so I just scrolled through my Instagram to see what you guys decided on dinner and I landed on pasta <laughs> which is once again something I always eat I'm so sorry I'm so sorry if you came to this video expect me to eat some like new things it's not my fault it is your guys' fault <laughs> and it's so funny because like in the all the other choices that I'm looking at it says pasta 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 Thai food and noodles and stuff I always eat I can't tell if we have the same taste or you guys are just so nice that you are picking foods that you know I like but anyway we're making pasta y'all know I love pasta pasta is my favorite food I hope this isn't like too boring for y'all or anything I'm trying I'm trying watch me get cookies for dessert watch me get chocolate chip cookies for dessert just freaking watch Ooh, that's a lot <laughs> I was carried away when it comes to pasta because I love pasta so much and then I realized like wow that's a lot nice big classic dinner that you guys chose so thank you seems a lot of you guys really wanted me to eat pasta I hope this makes you happy <laughs> It is now time for me to go see what you guys decided for dessert. And I swear to God, if I get a cookie, I feel like it's because y'all are just doing me favors. <laughs> this one. Oh my! <laughs> I'm not even kidding! Oh my God. Please, please, please focus. Please focus. It's right here. It literally says cookie. I didn't plan this. I thought y'all were gonna send in some crazy things. I got cookies. I have these chocolate chip cookies from Sprouts. This is a sign. This is a full on sign to go get yourself a cookie. There's always sirens. Whenever I film, you guys either get the train or you get the sirens or you get someone revving their engine. They all want my cookie. They're all coming to get my cookies. So for breakfast, I am very excited that I landed on this because it is something that I have never made ever, like in my entire life, vegan or not. So I'm really excited to show you guys and I'm really excited to try it. And it is a full English breakfast. So yeah, I'm really excited to make it. I think I'm missing a few things and I saw like a few different versions on when I looked it up on Google. So I'm sorry if this isn't exactly traditional. So I'm going to be making some egg using just egg. I don't have any mushrooms. I saw a lot of them had mushrooms, but I did see a few use potatoes so I'm going to be roasting up some potatoes I saw some roasted tomatoes all of them had beans of course and then some sausage and toast for the sausage I'm going to be trying these apple and maple field roast sausages they are plant-based breakfast sausages I've never tried I've never tried these before so I'm really excited to give them a try you know should I just have shiitake mushrooms I know that they aren't like the traditional mushrooms to use but it's not gonna taste bad right I'm sorry if you can hear my laundry in the background I burnt my toast oh no it looks pretty good though I'm excited to try it I know that didn't sound excited but I am excited I, I promise it sounds like I have a gun held to my head like I swear don't let the Brits come for me I'm excited I promise I guess I should put the beans on the toast that's what that's what y'all do right the baked beans are sweet. Are they supposed to be sweet? I don't think I've ever had baked beans before, so I guess I'll put my beans on my toast and see what all the hype is about. It's okay. It tastes fine. <laughs> I know that there are people that make an entire meal though out of beans on toast. I don't know if I would do that. I think that's a little, that might be a little too much for me. But with this entire breakfast, I feel like it's not that bad. So for lunch, I apologize, you can hear the air fryer in the background because I'm making french fries. But for lunch, I got requested to do a grilled cheese. So that's what I'm going to be having. It did not specify what I can have on the side and say like chips or anything. So I decided on french fries. I hope that's okay. So I've got my two pieces of bread here. I'm gonna use some of this Veal Life cheddar cheese. And then I'm also going to use some Follow Your Heart cheddar cheese. And then I also am going to add some bacon because this is how I used to have grilled cheese all the time when I was a kid. This is how my dad would make it. He would make bacon grilled cheese. I just realized you guys can't see anything I'm doing. <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. It looks so cool. Oh my god. I should make all my sandwiches in the waffle maker. I usually like to cut my sandwiches diagonally, but for this sandwich, I'll make an exception. There is my lunch. It looks so cool. Oh my god. You can't really see the inside, unfortunately. Was I not recording that whole time? Oh my god. I was eating my grilled cheese and I wasn't recording that whole time. Anyway, it's delicious. <laughs> Okay, so we're at the point of the night where I look god-awful, so forgive me. For dinner, I was suggested this 
I was suggested some ramen and I'm assuming that they mean Japanese ramen and not Korean ramen. So I decided to order some ramen from this place called, I don't remember what it was called, but the ramen dish, I, it was just so quirky. I couldn't, I couldn't resist it. It's called Hopeless Ramen Tick. And I think that's beautiful. <laughs> Got the broth here, big container of ramen here. Oh, it smells really, oh! It smells delicious. So here's the ramen. Oh, I'm really excited to try this. I very rarely have ramen. I always have ramen. Don't worry, I will mute this clip for people that don't like slurping. Mmm. Mmm. The lighting is god awful. What else is new? But for dessert, I am going to be making this requested dessert. So for chocolate covered strawberries, I think you have to like make it ahead of time and then put it in the freezer or the fridge or whatever. I'm not gonna do that because I don't have the time or the patience. Then I'll just take a strawberry. I'll dip it in the chocolate like that. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Mmm. Oh my god. It's like the perfect amount of sweetness. I love this. Mmm. This is so good. Why have I not been doing this already? Mmm. Good morning. So for today's breakfast, I got this request and I was like, huh, I haven't had oatmeal in a hot minute. So I got excited, but also in the same screenshot, I saw like a few others say this. I've never tried to make that before. So I figured I could combine the two and make chocolate baked oatmeal. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. So this is definitely going to make more than one serving, but that's okay. It said that it was really good to keep for leftovers and things like that. It also says to use a mashed banana. I do not have a mashed banana. I'll be using applesauce. I don't know how that's going to taste, but it's all I got. It's what we got to work with. Okay, got to scroll through the person's entire life story to get to the recipe. Five to 40 minutes. Okay, not bad, not bad. Much, much, much later. I don't know if it's cooked all the way through. Um, I think it's just because I didn't use like a larger dish, like it's deep. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm making sense. I promise I will try again another time and I'll try to make it better. I think it'll taste fine. It's just not gonna have like the right texture that I was going for. But yeah, I felt like if I kept it in any longer, the edges would start to burn. I'm gonna be using almond butter. I think they said peanut butter, but I have my Trader Joe's almond butter, which is the best nut butter, at least that I have found. So here is the final dish. I always feel bad when I mess up on like a recipe or something. I don't know why I feel like you guys would be disappointed in me. <laughs> Mmm, the texture reminds me of overnight oats. Which I don't think is supposed to be the texture for baked oatmeal, but it's what happened. Mm. It's lunchtime, and I got requested to have this for lunch, which is amazing because it gave me an excuse to order from one of my favorite places to get falafel. They said falafel and bread and hummus. I'm assuming by bread they meant pita bread because what other type of bread would you have with hummus and falafel, you know? I got pita bread, fresh hummus, this hummus I have such bad butterfingers, it's not even funny. This hummus is freaking amazing. And then I got a side of roasted vegetables because why not? And then a pita sandwich with falafel. My jaw, did you hear my jaw just crack? It always does that. Mm. My God, this place is so good. Their falafels, exquisite. You know the sandwich is good when you gotta do like a 90 degree turn, 90 degree angle to take a bite out of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does it taste like? Nothing. I, it tastes like a fish, but a fish I've never had. I don't know how to describe that. But it does taste like fish. It tastes like a fish, but I don't know what fish because I've never had it. If someone gave this to me and was like, this is fish, I'd eat it and be like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to overhype, but they're good. No, they're good. You hype just enough. Yeah, that's what I thought. They're not too good, but they're good. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're not like, oh my god. Yeah, Get they're them. not like, oh my gosh, that's the best thing I've ever eaten, but they're good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. I'm sorry if I seem like I'm kind of in a rush. It's because I am. I woke up late, I went to the gym, I picked out what I was gonna have for breakfast, realized it was something that I didn't have, so I had to go to the grocery store, ended up in a ton of un 
planned traffic. Uh, is that the right word? Unplanned? I, I just didn't see it coming. Got to the grocery store, got the breakfast that I needed. I have therapy in like 30 minutes. I have not taken a shower. I'm not showing my face because I look disgusting and I don't want to scar you guys for life, so you're welcome. <sighs> so if I seem like I'm in a rush, it's because I am and I'm sorry. So I really have to shower and get myself ready, but I'm starving, so I want to eat first. And this is the request I got for breakfast today. So I went to Whole Foods and got some things. So I got a vegan blueberry muffin from Whole Foods. I've had them before. They are so freaking good. Then I also got some apple turnovers. Let's try one of these first. Mmm, very tasty. Is a muffin considered a pastry? I hope so. Mm. Oh my god, it's so moist. How do they do it? How do they do it? I should get a job at Whole Foods just to figure out the recipe. So for lunch, I got requested to make some dumplings for lunch, which I am very pleased with because I went to the Asian grocery store earlier today and I got two bags of dumplings. I should make my own homemade dumplings someday. I should give that a try. I got these vegetable dumplings and then I also got some hot and spicy dumplings, you know, hot and spicy like me. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just gonna make a mixture of the two. They look kind of fried on here. I hope they're not. I'm not really a fan of fried dumplings. I prefer either like pan fried or steamed dumplings. That's just me. Sesame oil. Looks about good. 20 minutes later. Beautiful. No makeup today because today is editing day and it is taking me a very long time. Mmm, mmm. I think these dumplings have noodles in them. For dinner, I landed on this option, and it is jajangmyeon. If you don't know what jajangmyeon is, it's just black bean noodles. I've made it quite a few times on my channel, but it's been a hot minute since I've had it. But I just have noodles here, I have the black bean paste here, which is just black bean paste, gochujang, soy sauce, sesame oil, and I like to add nuclear noodle sauce, so it makes it spicy. It's gonna look really intimidating at first, okay? I get it, because it looks like tar. I understand it's not gonna look super appetizing, but I think it's really good. I mean, everyone has different taste buds, but I think it's delicious. It's one of my favorite meals, to be quite honest. Then I like to add a bunch of veggies and tofu to mine. So that's what I did. I have broccoli, zucchini, mushrooms, and tofu. And there is my dinner. Let me just get a noodle bowl, because I always need to get a noodle bowl. Ta-da! <laughs> so for the final thing, I got this. And I... I didn't want to buy an entire cake, I apologize. I just don't know if I'd be able to eat an entire cake. Also, when I went to Whole Foods, all the vegan cakes were sold out. So, I got a cup. I got a cupcake. I got a little vegan chocolate cupcake. It's so cute, it has little flowers on it. So I'm just gonna have this. I mean, if you think about it, cupcakes are just, you know, little, little mini cakes, right? I do wish there was a little bit less icing. I'm not a huge fan of icing. Mmm. And that is going to conclude this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But of course, if you absolutely hated it, which you would not believe me for, you can give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. Comment anything else you'd like to see on my channel. And of course, subscribe for more content by yours truly. And of course, before you go, if you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. You are so valid. And I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.